actually having so much fun filming this favorites video. <laughs> I'm really, really happy that I decided to do this again. I forgot how much I missed them. Hi friends, Zoe here. Today I'm super excited to talk to you because I am going to be bringing back the favorites. Starting with January 2019, I'm bringing back my monthly favorites videos. And in these videos, I cover books that I've read that I really enjoyed. I cover products that I might have picked up over the month that really enjoyed or clothing that I either picked up or have just really gotten use out, out of the month. And then also I like to mention a YouTube channel or two that I've really been enjoying for the month. So let's get started. apologize because it's been so gloomy in Rome and my camera I finally got it fixed as you guys may know had some issues <laughs> but I finally got my camera fixed uh, but it has been so dark out in Rome so I hope that these settings are fine because to film on my videos I just use natural light I don't have any fancy lights here in Rome it's actually kind of difficult to get them here Mail is just difficult in general here sometimes. <laughs> but anyways, I hope that it's okay and I just wanna appreciate you guys for being patient with me while I sort this all out. I promise you in about two months time, I will have a better setup for this. <laughs> all right, so let's start off with books. If you guys have been following along for a little while, you know that I published my fourth book this month and this book is Manifest Miracles. And this is my ultimate law of attraction guidebook. There are very actionable exercises in there that I promise if you take part in them will help you manifest your dreams and see a lot of things come to fruition. These are all the exercises, tools, tips, and tricks that I have used in my personal life, more specifically my journey moving to Rome and then while I've been in Italy, all that I've attracted such as trips, such as business opportunities, etc. This is my ultimate guidebook. I want to give a big thank you to those of you who have already purchased the guidebook and given me such amazing feedback, such as Tatum. Thank you, girl. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to hearing all of your guys' success stories. I truly know, like I said, if you take action on these tips, you will manifest abundance. I just know it and I have so much faith in you and I can't wait for you to uncover the power of believing in yourself. Next, I want to mention a book that I read at the end of 2018 and this book is called Letting Go. I listened to this book on Audible. It was quite long, but I promise you it is worth the listen. I felt that through listening to this book, I was able to connect the dots of so many things in my life and truly transform my thought processes and truly let go of things that were no longer serving me. And I just felt like everything that I uncovered through my spiritual journey at the end of the year was validated by this book. I promise you that you will receive some magical breakthroughs from it and you'll just live a more positive life on an everyday basis. Another book I want to mention, a book that I read this month, is called Prosperity Consciousness. And this one is a law of attraction, money, mindset book. And I found it very inspiring and I was able to make some personal breakthroughs in my own mindset. So whenever that happens, I always love to share those types of books with you guys because I know if I learn from them, then you'll learn from them too. So I'll be linking all the books down below if you are interested, but I promise you I've been so inspired about the content that I have been consuming that you can expect some videos on these topics coming up soon. Next. I want to mention a Christmas gift that I received from my family in Denmark. Today is December 22nd and it is 5.20 a.m. and I have not slept because I am so excited for my flight this morning. I am going to Denmark to surprise my family for Christmas. So, andiamo. wonderful wonderful trip I don't know my heart was just so full the whole time that I was there and when I left it was a really difficult goodbye but I'm just so happy that I made the trip and got to see my family because uh, I don't know 
know just like I'm telling you guys like just thinking about how much quality time I got like my heart is just so full and I'm just so grateful that I have such amazing family kind enough to have me for Christmas even though I totally bombarded them with my big surprise <laughs> I received a very special Christmas gift from them and I first noticed this ornament at my cousin Vivi's house she has a gorgeous home with lots of beautiful ornaments and as you guys know Scandinavians they just have such beautiful design and beautiful homes <laughs> So I was at Vivi's house and I noticed that on her counter she had this beautiful ornament, one like this. She had, um, oops, more than one, but this is a beautiful glass ornament and inside is a jellyfish. And I really hope that you can see it because it's so unique and I've never seen anything like it before and I thought it was so incredibly beautiful. It captured my eyes right away and I just, you know, it, it takes a lot for me to fall in love with items but I fell in love with this and I was like where did you get this baby and so she was telling me about it and then when Christmas came around a couple days later I ended up unwrapping one of these very special things from Yanni and Tony so thank you so much really I I love this so much I have it on my fireplace and I just love to gaze into it let me know what you guys think I think it's so unique and so beautiful Next, I want to share a gift with you that I actually unwrapped for you guys in a vlog, my Toronto vlog. And this is from my friend Manisha, but as you guys remember, Manisha wasn't there when I opened this present. So I was like, yay, crystal, because this is rose quartz. But what this is, is this is a face puller. So what you're supposed to do as a self-love routine and ritual, which I've been doing for the past since I got this, and I've noticed such a difference in my skin and my face, after you have washed your face in the evening, you put on a facial oil, or serum, whatever you prefer to use, then you pull the crystal across your face and you do these different movements. I'm planning on making a video about this because I've noticed like extreme benefits, but it's all around given my face like a lot more tightness it's got rid of poofiness and darkness under eyes it's just been truly incredible so i have fallen in love with this Minisha got this at a store in the beaches in toronto which is like one of my very favorite neighborhoods in the whole entire world and let me show you it is rose quartz so automatically it has loving and healing properties and i'm excited to share this more with you guys so stay tuned but i just wanted to let you know like this is one of my favorite things ever <laughs> When I was in Vancouver, I went to Sage. So Sage is a Canadian born company, I guess you could say. It was founded in Canada. I've been carrying this lip gloss around with me for a very long time. So the front of it is a little bit rubbed off, but it's called Virgin Lips and it is absolutely incredible, especially for cold weather. It doesn't leave you feeling like you need to consistently keep applying it every day. I've just been putting it on in the evenings before I go to sleep and I just wake up with soft and supple lips. Mwah. <laughs> also, when I was in Canada, I picked up this new lipstick and a lot of you guys were asking about it, which is why I wanted to include it in this video. So this is the Red Coral Lipstick. It's by Too Faced. It is called Where My Peaches At. <laughs> <laughs> Where are my peaches at? And honestly, it smells like peaches, you guys. It, ha it has such a beautiful smell. But I really love this color, especially if you have blue eyes. I feel like it kind of makes them pop. It's really nice to have a bold lipstick like this, one that you can wear out that even if you're just like me, and a lot of your wardrobe doesn't really consist of too much color, then you can sport a bold lipstick and you just feel a little bit more dressed up and it's nice. Also in products I want to share with you guys is this Herborean face mask. This is a Korean face mask, I believe. I actually got this last week with Sophie. I really, really love face masks at least six times a week. I'm wearing face masks in the morning or in the evening, most of the time in the mornings. So I really try to preserve my skin and I found this one. I've used it about three times now. I used it this morning. It has quickly become one of my favorite masks I've ever used. When you put it on, it looks like glitter, but it's just a bunch of little tiny sparkles. That's just what the consistency is. And you put it onto your face and the sparkles are actually just like exfoliants. By the way, guys, this is vegan cruelty free brand. And when you apply it, it allows this exfoliation process to happen and it's clear when it goes on it dries a little bit white but not not too much and when you wash it off you not only feel like an exfoliation but also a super hydrating effect to it so like i said i mean this one's quickly become one of my favorite masks i've ever used i think it was around 35 euro but i definitely say that it is completely worth it next 
I just want to show you guys this beautiful journal that my friend Alyssa gave me for Christmas and I am loving this journal. Not only do I love the beautiful design on it, as you guys can see, it's super unique. It's a hard cover journal, but I love how I open it. I kind of feel like Harry Potter or something. Like, I feel really cool when I like journal every morning in this. I'm like, ooh, it's a secret old book. You know what I mean? You know when you were little and you just wished that you could go to a, like a really old library and find like a secret mystery book with answers and all that. Like, this was like a fantasy when I was a child, is like to find an old bookstore and find something super cool on the bookshelves like this, like a magic book like Harry Potter. But I love how the pages are not lined. It allows me to be more creative in my journal. Like I'll draw things or I'll just doodle a little bit or, you know, it just allows my creativity to flow a lot more freely. The paper is really nice. I am big on paper when I buy journals. It has to be thick enough that if I write hard, I'm not gonna see it on the other side. And also, I, I write this way in the journal. So I write going down, and it's just it's just cool. I feel like by having a whole different type of journal than what I'm used to, it's expanded my creativity and allowed my creative writing process to flow a lot more. And next, I wanna talk about my pendulum, which I got from the super cool store in the beaches. I mentioned that Manisha got my crystal from. This store is called Chamomile. I'm going to be linking it down below if there's a website or a Facebook page for any of you guys are in Toronto. This store is incredible. Manisha and I frequent it often. Whenever I go there, we just like to go there every day because there's beautiful teas, all natural herbal remedies and I took a winter solstice class there. We actually made smudge sticks and we learned how to best set intentions for winter solstice. So it's a really beautiful community they have there and I just, I just wanted to let you guys know about it if you're in Toronto. Next, I have this sweater. So I bought this sweater a couple weeks ago and I totally manifested it because when I was visiting Gabby in San Diego last Christmas time, Gabby lent me a sweater that looked quite similar to this. She's like, girl, like, you need to add color to your wardrobe. Gabby has such cool, unique style, like very authentic to her. So she tossed me out this yellow sweater and she's like, I know this is gonna look amazing on you, wear it. And we went out and we had one of the most amazing, fun, spontaneous nights of my life. So anyways, I just always have fond memories of this yellow sweater that she had and I was, Looking at my winter wardrobe, which is quite minimal, I was like, you know what, I want to manifest some color. And I literally walked down the street from my house and like, boom, in the window of this like little boutique, they had this, like, oh, it's so soft, you guys. It was a little bit more on the expensive side, but I like to invest in pieces, as you know, that I know that I'm going to wear and use for a long time and that are good quality and gonna last. And so I found this baby and I wanted to say thank you guys for all your positive comments. Cause a lot of you are like, oh, I love this color on you and so I wanted to say thank you because I wear a lot of black. <laughs> Speaking of black, I want to show you my new black winter coat that I got. You guys have probably seen it and if you follow me on Instagram, it's been wearing it in like all my photos. But so it's this long black coat from Aritzia. I love it. I love how long it is because I have had shorter coats, but the fact that this one is long, I'm telling you, it makes the biggest difference when you're in a cold environment. And I also think it looks really chic. Like I have my tall black boots and I think the look together creates a very put together, classy look, especially, I mean, for example, I'd be in my apartment wearing Lululemon leggings and uh, like a baggy sweater, like this is, this is the casual attire when I'm like working from home and when it's gloomy like it is today. Let's say I have to go get groceries. I mean, this has happened more than a few times. This is what I'm telling you guys. I pull on my boots. So I'm wearing like black leggings with the boots. I put on this coat and I wrap a scarf around it and automatically I look put together. Okay, this is why I like this coat so much. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually having so much fun filming this favorites video. <laughs> I'm really, really happy that I decided to do this again. I forgot how much I missed them. Lastly, guys, we're gonna talk about YouTube channels. I am actually doing an Airbnb Instagram tour a few times a week here in Rome. If you guys have plans to come here in the next month, you can book me and I'll leave a link down below for that. But I've met the most incredible people on this tour and two of them were uh, Victoria and Dorothy and I feel like I inspired both of them to get started on some YouTube content and Victoria has already created some amazing content on her channel. Hi, I am about to take a cooking class um, that I booked through Viator or Viator. 
I, via tour, via tour. I've never taken a cooking class before. So my friend Dorothy and I. She is from the States and just has such a beautiful, wonderful personality and she has so much inspiration to share with the world. Please take a look-see at her channel. And also, I just want to highlight my friend Kim's channel. So Kim actually spent most of the year last year traveling the world and has collected some amazing inspirational footage and of course, stories to share with you guys. And Kim is actually from the Netherlands and so she doesn't do her videos in English but is kind enough to include subtitles for all of us English speakers over here. Dag lieve schatpatatten, wat leuk dat jullie kijken naar een nieuwe video. Vandaag ga ik jullie vertellen over iets wat we gedaan hebben afgelopen zomer. And I just love hearing Kim's stories, travel stories especially and the footage is incredible that she has. I just know that you guys are gonna find her channel very heartwarming as well. So I'll be sure to leave that down below. And yeah, let me know what was your guys' favorites or have you tried or have any of the similar things in me? I would love to hear from you and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.